I'll talk in this video uh, a brief about customer loyalty modeling. So the agenda for this lecture is that I'm going to start with what is customer loyalty and then uh, I'll talk about the different types of customer loyalty and then I'll talk in brief about customer life cycle and why that matters to retailers and finally I'm going to take an example to demonstrate uh, customer segmentation modeling using R programming. So let me start by uh, defining what is customer loyalty. Well customer loyalty as the name suggests is when a customer is loyal to a given brand. So someone can be very loyal to a given brand because of various reasons. Because of convenience, because of performance of the product or the service, or the quality of the product or the service. It could also be somewhat, uh, you know, behavioral, for example, like convenience. Or simply sometimes it's because of familiarity, right? Some people do not want to change. So if they're familiar with using some products um, for some time, they do not want to change to some other products. And what happens when we understand loyalty is that uh, we get to understand the behavior and the attitude of customers. It's how consistently people purchase. And then we understand the level of uh, money that they spend, customers spend on. So, so these are some of the aspects that we would like to understand to be able to fully understand the customer loyalty. And data is going to help us. You know, it starts with uh, awareness. How do customers get to know about a given product? They could know from social media, they could know from someone uh, from the family or friends circle or it could also be uh, because of you know advertisement and then uh, customers normally do research you could do research on uh, internet right on youtube or on google and there are lots of things you can uh, use to understand the various aspects of the product for example you know reading the blog post or ebooks or article watching videos on youtube or any other sites um, so you can you have many things at your disposal you can also go through the reviews of the product and service so that you do research and then you do comparison could be based on price or based on convenience and those things so you do comparison and then you purchase right customer purchase things and then they get to understand like how to use if it's a first time buyer then he will obviously do a bit more research about how to use the product and then if he likes the product starts uh, repurchasing the product again right uh, so that's about retention. This one also involves a lot of other things. For example, it could, it's not just the product or service that matters. Sometimes it's also about uh, the emotions, right? It's the brand value, uh, about what uh, his or her friends are using. Are they using the same product? That matters a lot. So these are some of the aspects that we would like to understand as before we even start building um, any model using data, marketing data. But at a broad level, there are five different types of uh, loyalty, no loyalty. Uh, inertial loyalty, latent loyalty, premium loyalty, reciprocal loyalty and we'll discuss uh, what these types are. First one is no loyalty. So that set of customers were not going to repurchase. Uh, they buy it once and they're not going to come back to you to uh, repurchase. Normally it is a very small cohort but it's important to uh, identify the customers that are not going to be loyal to your brand. So what you do essentially is that do not spend money on them. Very unlikely that uh, any of uh, any of them will repurchase, or you will you're not going to make any money out of your investment. Therefore, it's very important to identify them. And but you can use that cohort for your research, right? Just to identify other good uh, customers or potential loyal customers. And then the next one is about inertial loyalty. So this is a type of loyalty where uh, people are loyal to a given brand because of Convenience. I gave an example of you know one uh, retailer having an online presence. So customers were a bit lazy. They do not simply they do not even have either they do not have time or they simply do not want to go to shopping also to purchase something. Uh, it's very likely that they will stay with the brand. They will not explore more because in the market there are not many retailers having online presence. So because of convenience, they are loyal to you. But um, it could change, right? Because the moment other retailers start having an online presence, then you know this particular customer will start comparing, and he might switch over to some other brand. Uh, and if that is possible, then uh, the customer will very less likely to be loyal. So third one is about premium loyalty. So these are sort of customers who 
are very loyal to the brand, extremely loyal. They are so loyal to the brand that they will not switch over to others, other brands. It's even a significant increase in price will not um, will not influence them to switch over to other brands. One good example that comes to my mind is the case of uh, Apple computers, right? Apple computers or Apple mobile phones. Apple is one such brand where people who are fan of Apple products they do not normally switch over to other uh, electronic products. Although uh, the price of Apple mobile or, or, or um, whether it's iPhone or a Mac is significantly higher than uh, uh, the competitors such as Samsung or Sony or uh, Motorola, but Customer now will stick to uh, Apple products because uh, they like it, they love it so much. So they are proud to be uh, purchasing such products and therefore they simply do not want to switch. And then the next one is about latent loyalty. So these are customers who may um, come to you again, right? So they have purchased something from you and they will come to you, but you cannot rely on them, right? Uh, because they will switch up in economic crisis many people lost their jobs and what happens is that a lot of them will move to some other brand uh, where the product price is uh, less because uh, people do not have income anymore and they cannot buy your products it's not like they do not like your product it's because they cannot afford it anymore reciprocal loyalty reciprocal loyalty is where your customer also expect a lot of things from or your brand good example about the loyalty program that many retailers have like Walmart has loyalty program Target has loyalty program uh, yeah so you also have te um, Tesco has loyalty program in UK so if customers are loyal to the given retailer uh, the retailer gives back something some a part of the profit to the customers so that's a, a typical case of a reciprocal loyalty okay a bit about customer life cycle it's very important to understand customer life cycle to be able to uh, you know model uh, the customer's data for loyalty it starts with a new customer. A customer has very less knowledge about your product or service uh, so it's very difficult to target new customers that's one thing right to convince a new customer that my product is good and my service is good uh, and please come and buy it's very difficult right so more your loyalty model will be very less likely to be effective for these kind of customers right so you should have the separate model for customer targeting for the new customers right that's one thing to keep in mind and then you have existing customers where you have lots of behavioral data because you have transactional data you have demographic data they're already in your database you already know a lot about them that they are purchasing behavior and so on then you can make use of all these data to build model to sort of understand their behavior so that you can you know better target them with offers and with all kinds of things so your investment the way you do investment to you know, ta reach out to uh, existing customers should be different than to the potential new customers uh, treating existing customers is therefore so very important right and there can be two ways right unhappy customers simply you know move away and some happy customers stay back so it's very important therefore you know to understand the difference between uh, first of all new and existing customer and within existing customer the different segmentations and how you better prioritize the ones um, that are uh, going to be um, effective will be effective in terms of keeping them loyal uh, for your brand okay now we'll take an example to build a very simple uh, yeah segmentation model uh, and it can be used uh, to segment customers into different uh, loyalty groups and then accordingly target them it's by no means uh, same or similar to uh, a real world example it's a very small problem rather about how you can use uh, algorithms in order to be able to um, segment customers into different groups and then better target them. We will first import some of these R packages, they will be needed, and we'll also use uh, marketing data. Uh, okay, so we have this data set, we will first import it to R. So, if you're familiar with R programming, this is how we import a CSV file, 
and then uh, yeah we do first of all some basic exploratory data analysis just to understand what is uh, happening and then uh, we will think about doing something right building a model or something so it starts with you know understanding the distribution of the data and first we see how the distribution of gender is right we have uh, near about yeah we have 200 observations uh, 112 female uh, and 88 88 male uh, uh, this is just about distribution of age right? different age groups from 20 starting from 20 to 70 and you see that uh, most of the people are uh, between 20 to 70 so young pop uh, 20 to 50 so young population and then income distribution distribution then uh, spending score so spending score is basically some sort of a marketing score like you have uh, credit score right something similar so that kind of uh, score you have then do a bit of uh, cost evaluation right we have annual income with respect to gender so look at the behavior okay so it's similar spending scores you know you have a uh, lot of people similar spending score by the way right it's nothing different so the population is more or less I mean the distribution looks more or less similar uh, with respect to uh, the two types of gender um, and then we'll fit a very simple uh, clustering algorithm in order to yeah segment cluster segment customers into different uh, the, the factors that we have used are age income income score uh, yeah so these three or four factors we just discussed these four factors we have used uh, to categorize customers into different groups right and the algorithm will be a lot of these groups but based on your expert uh, knowledge based on your domain knowledge you should be able to identify how many of them really exist in your data set right so it's not like you have like 10 clusters and all 10 clusters uh, yeah do exist in your data you, you can say that you know at best there are five clusters so i'm going to cut it off here and then i'm cat i'll categorize all my 200 observations into these five clusters right so there you need a lot of domain knowledge you can use this algorithm uh, which is just an unsupervised learning algorithm to categorize cl uh, customers into different clusters and then come up with a marketing strategy okay um, yeah so a bit of a visualizations we have done right so you see based on the pattern that we see that there are different clusters right there are five different clearly five different clusters right so you can also use the help of uh, visualization in order to categorize clients into different clusters uh, using data for customer segmentations help us uh, better customer targeting uh, that's the main essence of segmentation modeling or loyalty modeling um, so using data analytics we, you can uh, yeah, target customers in a better way and then uh, optimal use of resources right whether it's manpower or money uh, is very important that you know who your good customers are only then you will be able to, uh, you know, um, yeah, use your resources, be it money in terms of money or uh, manpower, uh, to reach out to them. So that, in turn, that helps you maximize your uh, revenue and profit.